All right, we are back for the second half of this encounter. Nations FC against Hearts of Lions. First half in the goalless. It is the Division 1 League Super Cup. And much will be expected in the second half now from the two sides. Referee Christopher J in the middle will be restarting the game. But what can we expect in the second half, Kepler? What do you really expect from the two sides in the next 45 minutes? I think going into the recess, uh, Kiolo, the manager of Battle of Lions, would have been the happier of the two managers. Um, Nations FC finished very well, pretty well. Uh, towards the end of the first half, they had some decent chances, uh, specifically uh, Bernardo Madiabate, uh, who had a few scab shots, a few misplaced shots as well. Um, I expect more of the same from Nations FC, be dominant on the ball, but this time, take their time when they get to the final third, take their time where, when they are in the, their penalty box. For, for Lions, I think they will have to be more resolute. Uh, they will have to be really solid and then take their chances and then work the defense of um, Nations FC. They were unable to do that in the first half. Not a lot of chances, not a lot of working of goalkeeper Sari for, for Nations FC. And I'm, I'm surprised that uh, none of the two coaches has, has made any change. I expected Ishmael and Chui especially to come in for Nations FC. But with the team playing at least three matches, I'm sure the coaches would want to give this 11 the opportunity to prove themselves, Ivan. So we are on once again, and it's Hearts of Lions who restart play here. Now it is again in the middle. Here comes Lions shots there. But that would never trouble Ibrahim Sari. Go kick now for Heart of Lions for Nations FC to deal with. Well, I was talking about the number of friendlies that Heart of Lions had played last, um, last month as well as the early parts of this month. But if you have to look at Nations, They've also done some pretty good friendly matches, winning some, drawing some. Good shot there by Sidov Asante once again. It's in the arms of goalkeeper Ibrahim Masari. Lions concede a, a free kick there. And Nations FC has already played with Burkina, Burkina Bay team, that is Stab FC. They played two games. They won the first game by two goals to one, and then in the second game, they drew 1-0. And then they faced Mediama Sporting Club. We're also going to be playing in the CAF Champions League preliminary rounds this weekend. And they beat them by three goals to two. So Nations have been having some pretty good friendly matches and getting some good results. But over here, it's goalless. So in the second half, let's move on with everything that's happening here. It's now a free kick for Heart of Lions quickly taken. Thomas Osei now sends it to Aban, who passes to defensive partner, in Hennessy, Ruben Hennessy knocks it into the nation's half, cleared away by Asari. It is now for nations again. Seed of Asante. He wanted Boama, he misses out, and yes, Diara Amidu. Amidu wants to go just <laughs> beyond goalkeeper Thomas to say, but who was off his line was trying to get past him, but well, he did not strike that wall. But we move on with the game. Upon for Lions tries to go past his marker, he's throwing against Lions. Diabati, you see, if Ibrahim it is now for Yeboa, he finds it of Asante. Asante, whose pass is then blocked by his own player. Now, Kunto Aqua Aqua spent some time. With Kumasi Sante Kotoko as well, as with even Hearts of Lions, and also played for the Anna Stars before joining Nations FC. Ajeman, Konto in midfield, back to Ajeman. We'll have to beat Rubin Hennessy, who defends so well. And it's a throw in now for Nations again. Three minutes done in the second half, no goals yet in the encounter. 48 minutes in total so far played, no goals yet. If you're watching, you're live. The Ghana Football Association page on YouTube. This is the Division One League Super Cup. The first game. We have two groups of four teams. And this group, it is Nations FC, Heart of Lions, Techiman 11 Wonders, and Kufuidia Sympathy. We'll be playing later today. 
Goal kick now awarded there too. Heart of Lions. Long ball into the middle of the park. Simpson will have to do it as a Sari field. Simpson's header. And he wins a free kick after he claims he was pushed there by Yakubu. So for Nations FC, they were never called Nations FC. They were Bekwai Youth Football Academy, founded in 1996. And then it was an academy at the start. Then they moved on to play the Division Three, or that is the District League, I must say. They played that for two years before moving on into Division Two in 2010. And then they qualified to the Division One League in 2016. And after qualifying to the Division One League, that was when the team was bought in 2021 by Brothers Divine, Divine Che Bafour and then Paul Che Bafour. And they moved to Abrancesi here. And it, they've been playing the season, or the 2022-23 season, at the Dr. Kwame Che Sports Complex. Moved to get coaches, a top coach, Johnson Smith, who led them to qualify to the Division One League and here they are to, to the Premier League, I must say. And there they are. They're going to have a taste of Ghana Premier League in the 2023-24 season alongside Bofokotano and the team that they are playing now. That is Heart of Lions. 51 minutes played, no goals yet. Hennessy. Backwards to his goalkeeper, Thomas Osei. Osei is out of his 18-yard box. Not being pressured. Gets to Aban. Aban to Sid of Asante. Asante wants Yakubu, but Simpson has been alive and very, very active in the game so far. Konto wanted to find Ajeman, but it's a field pass. Lions again. Lions. Brilliant tackle there by Konto. Again to Ajeman. He will have to beat his marker in Ibrahim Yusuf. He's fouled. Christopher J reaches to his pockets and shows the yellow card to Ibrahim Yusuf. Six minutes in the second half. Maybe we've not warmed ourselves that much in the game, but we've had something good from Nations as well as Heart of Lion. I think, like I said, we expected them to start the way they started the first half and the way they ended the first half. They were the more dominant side. Um, the problem for, for Nations FC has been their decision making in the final third. Um, and, and I'm sure if you see the players warming up, Ishmael Eki. Um, Berryman and Co are all warming up. It tells you that Coach Kasim Okanze Mengel and, of course, uh, Coach Johnson Smith are aware of the deficiencies um, so far in the team. Um, I think they, they, need to be, they need to be calm on the ball and try to get their passes into the right channels. And then that way they can break that solid um, defensive shape of Heart of Lions. And I think the, some of the tackles have been harsh. I'm not sure that's because the assistant coach of the senior national team, um, Coach Didi Dramani, is here at the stadium with us. I'm sure some of these um, players are auditioning, you know, for an opportunity into the senior national team. Of course, it's, it's a preseason game, more more or less. Um, you'd expect some of the players to be calm with the tackles, but you know, when you are running and the sun is scorching, you tend to forget some of these dynamics and then go in as hard as you can. But this FC have been by far the better side this half. Um, but of course, they haven't worked to keep out. Thomas was saying in post of out of line. That is what is lacking um, in this nation. Safety. Somebody to really take the chances, the tiny chances, the half chances that they are creating to really work goalkeeper Thomas was saying for out of lines, Ivan. 53 played Division 1 League Super Cup opening game. No goals yet for Nations. And same can be said of Heart of Lions. Ibrahim Sari for Nations now. That long ball from a point could not find his attacker in Yakubu. Kwame Boahin clears his line. Heads in the air. Control is out, but he wins a free kick against Ibrahim Yusuf. Nations to restart play. Aban to Aqua. Back to Aban. Calls Amadou Diara. Diara passes backwards and a foul against Ibrahim Yusuf. He's been won there by the referee, Christopher J. He's got to be careful.
Aban. And it seems that Fatal Salif will be making his first substitution in the game. Fatal Salifu, the coach of Heart of Lions, might not be pleased with what he's seen so far in the game. And that calls for a change, definitely. So, Ben Teldia will be the guy to be brought on and wait for who he's going to be replacing. Throwing out for Lions, quickly effected there. Yakubu tries to be the smacker. He wins a free kick in that move. And he's in a good position to swing in one into the nation's 18-yard box and then challenge them. Get a first goal of the game. We need an opener. Can we get that at this moment? You never know. This is football and anything is possible. Free kick awarded to Lions. On the left-hand side of Nations FC's goal post. And that will be dealt with by a pawn. So the change being done is for Sidov Asante. Will replace will be replaced by Bentil Dia. Free kick now for Lions. It's a pawn's cross. No, it's a pawn's cross still. But that is so, so poor. Not the best of crosses from the left back. As a lot of the players were waiting in the 18-yard box looking for something from a pawn. But, well, he failed there. Ball is back with Lions after the goal kick taken by Ibrahim Sari. In the middle for Buama. Buama will lead going for a shot. He faces competition from Simpson, who defends well. Ajaman. And he wants Ibrahim Diabate. Diabate. Against Diabate shot. Well, that was a good opportunity to get a first goal of the game. Hey man, um, I think um, I'm not sure um, Diabate, Ben Adama will last the entire 90 minutes. This was a perfect opportunity. A ball over the top. It caught all the defenders of Lions. You know, ball watching. He had pace, he had enough time, but his first touch was very poor. That gave the defender an opportunity to close. And of course, his final shot was so feeble, and that would not trouble goalkeeper Thomas. Was that was really, really poor from Ben Adama Diabate of Nations FC. It's still shocking that after 57 minutes, um, this game is still goalless. Nations have had the opportunity to have at least, at least, you know, had one goal uh, so far in this game. But that was very, very poor from Ben Adama Diabate Ivan. Very, very, very poor. And should have made that count for Nations FC. Game continues. No goals yet in the encounter. 57 minutes played. Now it is Suleimana. Wanted to locate Amadou Diara. But no, the game... The intensity of the game is now rising, so we will expect more of attacking play here. Aban Kles. Now it is in the middle for Boache. He wants a pawn. No, it is Bento Dia. Dia against Boahen. He loses. And Boahen has to be able to keep the ball. And it's for Kunto. Ben Adama Diabate. Good pass. Looking for Amadou. Amadou Diara against Aban. Tries to be the smacker. He claims to be pushed. Referee is not going to have any of that. Not at all. I mean, that was expected. He went down too easily. He was looking for the contact, but that contact was never coming. So he had to fall down to try and then con the referee. But referee Christopher J was very alert and took the right decision. A goal kick for Heart of Lions, Ivan. Game continues. Ibrahim Yusif for Boahen. Throwing out for Lions, quickly effected. Lions built from the back once again. And it's now in the middle for Yakubu. Yusif. Goal kick. Yeah. 
59 minutes played so far. It is still goalless. We are live on the Ghana Football Association YouTube page. It is the Division 1 League Super Cup, the 2023 edition. The 2021 edition was won by Sky FC Dabo 2022 Liberty Professionals, who are now named Hoho FC, won it. Now Suleimana for Nations FC a shot. Side netting. That was a poor decision from Nafil Suleimana. That shot was not on. You expected him to either cut back or send it across for Bernard Amar to go for it. But he was selfish on that occasion. And I'm sure that the Nations FC fans and coach Kasim Omingo will be disappointed with that opportunity. At least they should have worked that goalkeeper with the right decision. That has been the bane so far for Nations FC. The decision in the final third, the decision in the penalty box, that's been the problem for Nations FC. And it's no surprising that the likes of Prince Atta, Barry Maba and Ishmael Entry are warming up. It's going to be a triple sub to change the game for them. And I think it's been disappointing so far for Nations FC, especially in the attacking third, Ivan. Changes to be done again. The Nations FC player is down and has to receive treatment, it seems. Nations FC will be making two changes as well. So, number six, Shattered. So, Barry Maba, as well as Samuel Enchi. So, Barry Maba is introduced into the game for Ben Adama Diabate. And then Isaac Boche. Adama Diabate, like Kepler said, was not going to have all the 90 minutes in this game. But, well, you never know. I think an hour was even too much uh, for him. I think he should have been hauled off after the first half. He was where the chances were coming for um, uh, Nations FC. Unfortunately, his decision making has been very, very poor. And I'm not surprised that in the last two league seasons in the Burkina Bay League, he's old, only had a paltry two goals for, for a centre forward. That is unacceptable. That is disappointing. And I'm not sure how he fits into the scheme of affairs with regards to the 2023 2024 league season for Nations FC. If they want to do well, if they want to stay in the league, they need to find someone who's more potent in the attacking third. All right, so Isaac Entry. Isaac Entry replaces Contour. And also Prince Sata. So coach Kasim Mengel is making three changes right now. Isaac Boche, Prince Sata. And then Barry Maba and uh, Ishmael Enchi. I also been introduced. Samadu uh, Diara is off. Diara has had a good game, but decision making in the final third seems to have been his problem in this encounter. Now he has to get on the bench and watch his other teammates do the job. Amadu Diara and then Suleimana have all been replaced. So fresh legs. Prince Atta will be playing in that role of Kama, uh, Suleimana. The game restarted. Aban. Hennessy for Lions. Heads in the air. Yakubo into the arms of Ibrahim Sari. Ajeman. Tries to go past two markets. Ajiman gets into the middle but loses possession. Free kick awarded to Nations FC. 64 minutes played, no goals yet in this clash. Fans at the Dr. Kwame Chase Sports Complex will be expecting a goal, but it has been tense. It has been very, very good so far. Crossing to the 18 yard box of Lions, who is there to connect. Upon tries to deal with that. And it's a true, it's a foul against Nations FC as well. Well, 
I think the, the changes should tell you what the thinking is for Coach Kasim or Kansas Mengel and of course his assistant Johnson Smith. They've had more possession, they've had all the chances. Their keeper, uh, Sari, Brahim Sari hasn't been worked. The problem was in the attacking third, and I'm not surprised that apart from Emmanuel Ajeman, he's taking off Ben Abam, Adam Diabate, who was really struggling in that first half and the 15 minutes he did in the second half. And of course, Nafiu Suleimana, who was very electric in the first few minutes, but his decision making, especially in the final third, was disappointing. And he's also been held for uh, Ismail Aitri, who was very, very instrumental in the uh, coming up of Nations FC in the Division 1 League last season. So it looks like they are going for the kill. They know that this game is there for the taking and they, are, they have the manpower to get that done. So I'm not surprised for Heart of Lions is the ability to keep their shape and then uh, soak the pressure and hope that they can catch um, Nations FC on the counter with the, with the attackers. But so far, Nations FC have been the, by far by far the better side. But of course, goalkeeper Thomas Jose has little to do in the second half. A chance for Nations FC to strike. Great save there by Thomas Jose. Thomas Jose with a save there for Hearts of Lions. Same save with challenge. Loses it. Now Yakubu. Well, he leaves it for Boache, who beats his marker. It is now for Arthur. Arthur now to Ajeman. Foul there. Revis says, let's play. Ibrahim, you see. In the middle now, it is Bentil to Boache. Back to Yusif. Lions now. Brilliant block, uh, block there by Prince, uh, Prince Aqua. But what a lose possession again. Ibrahim received to Buama. Buama. It is stopped there by Buahen. He will want to locate entry. Entry in possession now. Good pass there for Ajeman. He will have to beat Aban. Ajeman against Aban. Pass into the 18 box for Ata. Tries to locate entry, but no. Now Bento for Heart of Lions. A 3v3. Has to make a good pass. Simpson is available. He blocks. And he's held there by Buahen. But it's now Bentel again. Yakub Rada. And it's a free kick against Buahen. 67 played. We still have no goal yet. But we've just enjoyed some two minutes of brilliant good football. Heart of Lions with a free kick. In the nation's half. Let's see how that four changes made by head coach Kasim Mengo will impact his team as they try to get the, the lead. But what well, they have to defend this corner because Ibrahim Yusif and then Opon behind this. Yusif with a cross. Heads in the air. Headed out by Boache. Hennessy. Shot one to Buama. Stopped there by Aqua. But no. It's an offside. I think that was close there. My thinking was that Razak Simpson tried to play the ball and that way he should have been onside. But of course, you have to give the referees the benefit of the Dianes Tina Kasika. Indeed says it's offside. And hopefully that was the right decision, Ivan. We are still on here at the Dr. Kwame Chase Sports Complex. No goals for nations. And Heart of Lions, Simpson, to the left-hand side for Boache. He has to keep that one in play, but no, that's too strong for him to deal with. Throwing a word that stopped there by Boache again. In the middle, it's now for Prince Aqua. Nations come through on the right-hand side. Boahen, Ajeman, back to Boahen as captain. Into the middle for Prince Aqua. Aqua looking for spots. He finds entry. Good pass to Boache, to Boahen. Cross into the 18 yard box, into the arms of Thomas Ose. Thomas Ose grabs it. Heart of Lions will play again. <laughs> Throwing a wallet there to Heart of Lions. That's been a fair encounter so far. As both teams are still struggling to get a goal. A foul awarded here to 
Heart of Lions again. Seems the changes made by coach Kasim Mingo seems to have energized the attack of Nations FC. We've seen Ishmael Entry doing all the job on the flanks, even though he just came in. But you can clearly see there's some urgency on the, on the right-hand side for Nations now. They have to deal with this uh, free kick first of all. Chris AJ with a whistle says, yes, they can take it now. Heart of Lions, up home. Good shot, headed by Asari. Still in the 18-yard box. Well, Ishmael and Triclairs. Ibrahim Yusif keeps it for, Nation, for Heart of Lions. They want a free kick. Referee says, yes, it's a foul against number six shattered Nation FC player. Isaac Butcher with that tackle there. Referee says it's a free kick. So two free, two free kicks in the last two minutes for Heart of Lions. 71 minutes played. No goals yet in this clash. We are still on here at the Dr. Kwame Chase Sports Complex. The first game of the competition. The first game of Group A as well. And it's the open, I must say. Yakubu Ibrahim. Yakubu. Yakubu. Free kick taken header there. A chance for Hearts of Lions, but well, it's a goal kick. Ata to Aqua to Boache. Nations come through in the middle. Ajeman. Ishmael Entry. Can he keep that one in play? Yes, he does. He has support there, but he decides to go for a cross. It's too strong. It is now for Yeboa. Cleared by Lions. Brilliant control there by Asari. He finds Boahin on the right hand side. Wahin with a short pass to Ishmael Entry. Tries to do a cut back, but no, it is being blocked there by Opon. Here is Yabua. And it's now for Yakubo. Yakubo. Yakubo against Asari. Well, well that, that cross or that pass is that poor. It's stopped there by Simpson for Boahin to Boche. Boche. Once a German, he loses possession, but it's now for Aban to defend for Heart of Lions, and he sends it backwards to goalkeeper Thomas Ose. Ibrahim Yusif. Lions trying to do their part of the game, trying to build attacks, and they are still with the ball in the middle of the pack, and it's shifted back to goalkeeper uh, central defender right is Aban. He finds Yeboa. To Yusuf Ibrahim. Ibrahim back to Aban. Aban to goalkeeper Thomas Osei. Into the middle, but that pass is so strong, Boma could not claim it. It is now for Boche, who was for the left hand side, and here Nations come. Can they create something from this? Still, Nations still doing. But well, it is sent back to Prince Aqua. Aqua to Ishmael Entry, it is stopped there by a pawn. Now, Boahin, will he do a long shot? No, he doesn't. Huto. Hmm. Some 16 minutes more to win the game. No goals yet in this clash. Simpson has it backwards to goalkeeper Ibrahim Sari. Sari then sends it to Boache. Now to Prince Aqua. Aqua. And he finds Ata. 
Atta with a short pass there to Boche. Boche goes to the left hand side and he has upon again. He cast Boche again. A good cross into the ATR box. It is stopped there. Hennessy will have to deal with that and he does that so well. They move from defense to attack. Heart of Lions. Good play there. Still Heart of Lions. It is now for your boy against Simpson. There's a push. Reverie says, let's play. Prince Aqua. Aqua's ball is good. And here comes Nations. It's a 3v2 occasion. Nations, it's Malenchi. Enchi! That is the first goal of the game. Ismail Enchi strikes for Nations FC. And we have the first goal of the encounter. It was a, it was a good move from the left hand side. Nations moved as quickly as possible. Ismail Enchi was positioned right in the 80 yard box. And he struck with beauty. And Asian FC lead. This is the first goal of the Division 1 League Super Cup. And it is Ishmael Entry's moment. And it's Nation FC's moment as well. Hi, man. It was always coming. I told you before we went into the reset, I was expecting Ishmael Entry to have come in right after the first 45 minutes. Because if you've watched Nation FC when they were playing in the Division 1 League, he was their most potent attacker, the lethal striker they had. If you give him three chances, he would take at least one of them. And this was a perfect example of what he brings to the table for Nations FC. A very, very good shot taking there. And goalkeeper Thomas Osei had no chance saving that. And I'm not surprised that Nations FC, after 75 minutes, have the first goal of the 2023 Division 1 League Super Cup here at the Dr. Kwame Che Sports Complex at Abraham Kese. And it will be a very good cast now for Art of Lions to come back into the game because Nations FC have been dominant. They've had all the chances, but for some poor finishing, this game should have been over in the, in the first 60, 70 minutes. But it's better really than never. And who else but Iman Ismail Entry, who is the poster boy and a fan's favorite here at Abraham Kese for Nations FC to give them the lead. And from here, I think there is no way back for Heart of Lions unless, unless a miracle. And I'm not surprised that they are also ranking the changes here at the Abrancasi Sports Stadium, Ivan. So we have the first goal of the game here. But let's change. Or oh, are we going to have a 1-0 scoreline? For the opener of the Division 1 League Super Cup. As it stands. Nations lead by one goal to nil. And it's Ishmael Enchi with that goal. Boche. A foul against Heart of Lions. Prince Akko was trying to find Ishmael Enchi. But it failed there. <laughs> Game continues here. Prince Aqua. Dilly Dali in the midfield. Barry Maba is fouled. Referee says a free kick. And Nations FC are enjoying themselves so far. The fans are enjoying. Hearts of Lions will not be pleased with what is happening. Free kick now for Nations. Boache. Powata. Beats his marker. He has Prince Aqua, but no, he opts for Boche. To Boahen, back to Boche. Beats, you see. Sends it backwards to Boahen. They are not keeping the ball. Ismail Enchi to Boahen. A good pass, a chance, Atta. And he passes to Aqua. Goal kick. Nations have been all over in attack. 
doing all the job, trying to find spaces. They've been finding it by the final finish after that goal by Ismail Inchi. Will have to be better. Ibrahim Sari with the ball now for Nations. Sari into the middle for Boche to Simpson. To the left hand side, and he finds Boache. But no, Heart of Lions recover possession. Long ball into the 18 yard box. No, the, the pack. And yes, Bento Udia wins a free kick. A free kick against Nations. So free kick awarded now to Art of Lions after Samuel Agbenega was fouled there by Is Samuel Buche. So for Nations is a four-man wall. Can Art of Lions get that leveler? Long shot there into the waiting arms of goalkeeper Ibrahim Sari. No mistake there. Sari is down with the ball, but I can see Asari will also have to receive treatment. Game on, 10 minutes more to win this encounter. Nations lead by one goal to nil. Here comes Nations again. They lose possession. Now Prince Aqua will have to keep that one in. Yes, he does so well. Boache, he's fouled. Referee says, no, that's not a foul. A chance for Heart of Lions has been blocked there by Simpson. He seems to be complaining to the referee. But the referee doesn't care about your complaints. He will not have any of that from Simpson. He's still complaining. A yellow card has been given to Boache. Boache receives a yellow card there. It's now a throw in. Throwing out for Heart of Lions. Eight more minutes to win the game. Nations lead by one goal. Long throw into the ATR box. Being blocked there. Referee says no penalty. As he saw the Lions players calling for a penalty. There's a free kick against. A foul against Samolata. I think it's game management time for Nations FC. Just under 10 minutes before the end of the game, they will do well to see this game through. And that's the antics and tactics they've deployed so far, trying to, you know, wind the clock down as much as they can. But for Out of Lions, they don't have enough time. They need to find a way to get back into this game. They need to find a way, and they have to do it sooner rather than later. Otherwise, the next two games will have to be must win games for them and that's also a very very daunting tax for them Ivan another free kick to foundations to defend for Hearts of Lions to attack they try to come again referee says no foul it is now Boche Boche beats his marker but he's fouled that was a good counter-attacking opportunity but it seems Boche delayed on the ball and it ended in a free kick yes now, Heart of Lions want to get their level up, but you can see that the game is being slowed 
there by nations because they have the lead. They lead by one goal to nil. And they have to give treatment to one of their players. So there's a player down who has to receive treatment. Number 23, Shetad Ibrahim Yusuf for Heart of Lions. Razak Simpson will deal with that for nations. So free kick has been taken and it's now for upon. Barry Maba, back to Boache Rada. Boache's uh, move is blocked. Lions will do their job, try to get, create an attack, but no, they feel there. It is now Boache who defends so well. He loses possession, but he wins a free kick. Free kick has been taken, and it's now Sam Boche. Boche to Simpson. Simpson, good ball there. Good pass to Ajeman. Ajeman in the 18 yard box. Ajeman's cross. Fails there. Brilliant play there by Nations FC. Trying to get a second goal of the game and extend their lead. Well, they lose possession. Accra uh, Lions. Hearts of Lions lose possession. Ishmael Lynch is fouled. Referee says no. That's not a free kick. He wants the game to continue. Thomas will say, we'll restart it. Enim. Bento loses possession. There's a free kick against Heart of Lions. There are lots of tackles now as we get to the closing stages of this encounter. From where we saw, I thought that was a yellow card. That should have been given to Charles and Poisson. That was a tackle that broke the attack of uh, Menaces FC. You could see that Iman, uh, Ishmael Lynch was in space and a pass from Boche would have set them up for the second goal. But he was brought down quite harshly by um, Charles and Ponsan. But surprisingly, referee Christopher J seems to think that was not a yellow card offense and you'll have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Another player down and he has, he has to be stretched off. Nations have the lead here. At the Dr. Kwame J Sports Complex. Don't forget, this is the 2023 Division One League Super Cup. It is the opening game. Nations FC lead by one goal to nil against Accra. A Heart of Lions, rather. Don't know what I'm talking about, Accra Lions. They are still in the league. They are going to be playing in the 2023-24 Ghana Premier League. So we have, we will have two Lions in the Ghana Premier League this season: Heart of Lions and then Accra Lions as well. Free kick awarded here to Nations. Prince Aqua is there. Ajeman is there. Boche is also available. Will that be for Boche or is it going to be for Boahin? It's rather Boahin. Free kick, but what is another change? Number 19 shattered. But well, we will have to wait a good shot, but no, it is a goal kick for. Goal kick now for Heart of Lions. They take it as quickly as possible to the right hand side. Ball sent backwards to Aban. Into the middle for Ibrahim Yusif. Yusif. And he finds a name. Ball is blocked. Back to a name once again. Short pass there. But no, it's a failed pass. And here comes Nations again. Through his well entry. On the right hand side. That's to be this marker. Entry. He has options there. But no, he decides to get in the cross. It's being blocked. Heart of Lions win a free kick. Free kick has to be quickly taken. We've got some one minute more of the 90 minutes to play. Ibrahim Yusif. Simpson clears his line for Nations. Ball is in the middle. 
Heart of Lions. Still trying to look for the equalizer. To the left hand side, and it's for Amponsa. Amponsa, can he be this marker? Gets back in, cuts in field, and passes backwards. Still, Heart of Lions. You see. Shot pass there to the right hand side. A free kick awarded again to Heart of Lions. They are getting closer, but the time is definitely not waiting for them. Some few seconds for the 90 minutes. And then we will see the additional time the referee, Christopher J, will add. Heart of Lions with a free kick into the 18 balls of Nations, but no. No one to connect to that. It's a goal kick, Ibrahim Sari. I think Ibrahim Sari has not been busy this second half. We expected more from Heart of Lions. First half, we were talking about how nations were the one doing most of their attacks. And we expected to see Sari do more in terms of goalkeeping, but he's been much more relaxed as compared to Thomas Osteen. I mean, that was expected, Ivan. I did indicate that Heart of Lions were doing okay in their defensive shape. And of course, how they were able to, you know, counteract the midfield um, 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 pair of control and um, Prince Aqua in the first half. But in attacking third, it was all nations FC. They really worked Thomas Osei, who made some very decent saves, especially from behind the box. And Ibrahim Sari has, has been on holidays. He's had nothing to do um, in the entire 90 minutes. And I think for Art of Flyers, it's something that they need to work on. They need to work on the attacking shape. Um, they, they've, they've, they've had half chances, but nothing really to trouble goalkeeper Ibrahim Sari. And there's a lot of work to do, especially if they would want to stay in the Ghana Premier League. If you look at the opposition today and the golf indifference, the scoreline doesn't really tell the story of how this game has gone so far. Nations FC should have been 4-5. Or six nil. Look at the number of chances Ben Adam at the had. Look at the chances um, um, Emmanuel Ajima also have had. And then when Ishmael entry, and of course Prince Atta plus Barima Ban when they came on, the amount of opportunities they've created. If they had any any potent attacker, they would have you know taken this game um, by at least three goals. And so for out of Lions, they have a lot of work to do. I'm not sure what their recruitment team are thinking. But they need reinforcement, especially in the attacking tech, Ivan. Heart of Lions have been awarded a free kick just in front of the 18-yard box of Nations FC. Simpson challenged Agbenyega and a, a free kick has been awarded. In the closing stages, this can determine... The result of the game is a good opportunity for Heart of Lions to get a leveler. The Nations FC players are not pleased with the decision by the referee, but they will have to deal with that because as it stands, the decision has been made already. Free kick now in a very great position. Well, they are still complaining. Christopher J is not having any of that. A free kick awarded there to awarded here to Heart of Lions. Ibrahim Sari will have to defend this. Can Heart of Lions get the equalizer? This is a very good position. The nation's wall is available. Six players. Six man wall. Six man wall. What will Heart of Lions do with this opportunity? Perfect opportunity to get a leveler. Can they seal it? Can they utilize this moment? Will the scoreline remain the same? 
four wine shirts behind the ball for Heart of Lions. It is now an eight seven man war rather than the six that I expected or I saw earlier. Great moment to get a leveler. Can Heart of Lions do this? Can they get it? Heart of Lions. A strike! That was close. That was close, I must say. Very close from the number 21 shirted. Samson Odamitis strike was that powerful. Missed the post by inches. Now game restarts from the goal kick by Ibrahim Sari. Razak Simpson locks it in. Cleared out by Anim. Continued there by Prince Aqua. Ismail Entry will have to keep it in, but no, it is too strong for him. And it's a goal kick. It's a, it's a throw in against. It is a throw in. So that's it. It is all over here. At the Dr. Kwame J Sports Complex, the opener. Nation FC, Ismail MG, the hero. And they have the first win of the encounter of the competition of the 2023 edition. Nation FC have done it. They have beaten Heart of Lions by a goal to nail. Hey, my man. This was expected, especially if you look at how the first half went. Nation FC were by far the better half, better team. Throughout the first half, they created a lot of chances. Unfortunately, the likes of Bernardo Madiabate uh, couldn't take their opportunities, and so the game became cagey. But uh, as soon as the likes of Ismail MG, Prince Hatta, Behima back came on, you knew that Nations FC were definitely going to get a victory. And I'm not surprised that they eventually got the only goal of this game. Um, the difference is, is quite significant, and I'm sure out of Lions will be looking into the market to see what is available recruitment-wise. Uh, I'm sure in attacking third, they would have to reinforce their team. Otherwise, they will struggle. For Nations FC, they have a lot of players coming in. Um, as to whether they need all that number, and as to whether they will gel pretty well before the start of the season, we'll have to find out. But it's been a very decent game. If you're a neutral, you would enjoy it. It was end-to-end -end at some point. Um, but Nations FC deservedly win a victory. Now they go top of the group. Um, we now have 11 Wonders up against um, Koforidias and Puffy. We'll see what happens in that game. Remember that game cast off at 4 p.m. here at the Dr. Kwame Che Sports Complex at Abrankese. But for Nations FC, they are on the right track. Uh, Kasim Okansi Mengo and um, Johnson Smith, they have their work cut out. They know where they are, they are lacking and where their strengths are. And I'm sure in the next few games, we'll see both teams improve. For Heart of Lions, their defensive shape was there. In midfield, they were very compact and tight. But in the attack attack, they struggled. And I hope that Coach Kiolo and his technical team would try to find solutions to their attacking problems in their subsequent games. From us here at Abrankese, is the 2023 Division One League Super Cup. Nations FC... They are playing home away from home, although this is their home ground. They played away to out of Lions in the group A of the 2023 Division 1 League Super Cup. One nil victory scored by Ismail Entry on the 75th minute mark after some decent work from Barry Maba on the left hand side. So we go again at 4 p.m. when Koforidias and Puffy take on 11 1 the Saivan. Yes, the second game will be on at 4 p.m. But as it stands now, and as it has, it has happened here at the Dr. Kwame Che Sports Complex, the first game of the 2023 Division 1 League Super Cup has ended. The Nations FC have won by one goal to nil against Hearts of Lions. We are back at 4 p.m.